Okay, so uh, this is a video about how to make a video using PowerPoint. I'm going to share my screen, which is my PowerPoint. And um, you can see I've got a five page presentation that I did uh, a couple years ago. And um, so what I'm what we're going to do is first off, we're going to save this as something else. I'm gonna just save it as video vid because we don't wanna, we're adding something to our PowerPoint and I wanna make sure that I still have my original PowerPoint. So now I'm gonna to go to, so you'll probably start here at home. You wanna to go to slideshow and you wanna turn off use timings. Okay, that seems to be pretty important. I think you may have to turn on always use subtitles if you want subtitles, and I encourage you to use them. So now what you want to do, I think everything's good. We're going to go to record slideshow. And you can see that it's got this little box in the lower right. Um, that's going to be where your video is going to appear. I think you might be able to move it around, but maybe not. And uh, what we're then going to do is um, I'm going to try and record a video for each of the slides. So here up here is the start recording button. Let's see how this goes. I'll pretend to do part of this at least. Hi, my name is Bill Miller, and I want to present some work that me and my colleagues, Dr. Tanya Atkins and Dr. Devon Stewart have done. Uh, and it is about implementing asynchronous at-home labs in remote or online science courses. In particular, this is for General Chemistry 1. And we have had our students purchase the kits. Uh, the kits, and uh, we'll I think we'll talk more about this as the presentation goes, but the kits cost approximately $65. So they are not cheap, but they are significantly less expensive than the same kits that you might purchase. And then they have significantly fewer things than kits you might purchase from one of the commercial companies. Then students complete the experiments with the help of demonstration videos and of course, instructor help as much as needed. Students learn 46 skills comparable to skills that they would learn in a face-to-face -face lab. And we would say nothing is the same as doing face-to-face -face labs, but um, that this is significantly better than, uh, in our opinion, watching uh, videos of labs and having them write down the data. So that is my uh, presentation for slide number one. Now I can play it back. Hi, my name is Bill Miller. And I want to present some work. And now we can go into slide number two. And it's ready to record slide number two here. Counts that me down. This is my presentation for slide number two. Well, maybe I make a mistake. So let's stop. Let's, um, oh, let's trash this one. Let's see if I can do that. Yep, it trashed it. And it still has my one on slide number one, but now on slide number two, it is ready to record again. At home lab kits, blah, blah, blah. I can do my presentation here till I'm satisfied with it. Then go, and then you can play back here. At home lab you can play back down here. At home lab kits, blah, blah, blah. And then you can go on to the next slide and Continue and till you get to the end. And if you, um, and let's just hit end show. If use timings is on, in my experience, it doesn't allow you to delete it because it's treating it more or less as all, all of your slides as one time, uh, one slideshow. Um, and yeah, so now sort of <laughs> to, Uncheck that. So in a previous version of this video, I had it checked accidentally and it did not work. So now what I want to do is when I'm satisfied with all of my little mini videos, and of course I should have one on each page before I'm done. What I'll now do is go to file and export. 
and I'm going to export it as either an MP4 or a movie. Let's choose MP4. Um, we can, and I'm putting it on the internet, so it's going to be internet quality. Use recorded timings and narrations. Uh, and yeah, let's leave those checked. Let's export it. And let's see if it's, uh, yes, and I realize you can't see this, but so let's actually save as to, to keep this. And you can see it's got my MP4 there already. Um, I'm gonna save this. Uh, I'm gonna replace it because I just saved as before. So it was my original work. Now I've got the videos in there as well. So if I close this out, I'll stop sharing, but then I will open it back up again. And I will share my screen now. And you can see my videos are still there. The ones that don't have them are still there as well. And finally, what I'll do is I'll show what the video looks like. Let me open that up. Sorry, I just have to find it. Presentations. Uh, that was interactive problem solving at what works. Hi, my name is Bill Miller, and I want to present some for. And yeah, most of this is his first slide. At home lab kits, blah, blah, blah. I can do my presentation here. So I'm satisfied with it. And then we had it set to do five seconds for each of these that didn't have a video and it's doing it, which is fine. And that is how we do uh, video presentations in PowerPoints.